going into Boston. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm arriving, I'm arriving at our final stop, Boston South Station. Now arriving. Yeehaw. I just have to find Sierra. And then we're heading to New York. Sierra's trying to fit a box into an envelope bag. I'm just gonna, you know. <laughs> we're just Sorry, gonna... but this to the tune of Get Down tonight. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay. Um, our journey to conquer New Hampshire has officially begun at the South Street Diner in Boston with a hair clip, with some coffee, much needed. Both of us got um, less than ideal amount of sleep, but we're ready for the journey of a lifetime. Red eye, baby. Okay, everyone, we're boarding our bus. Bus terminal To the vibes. one and only. Bus terminal vibes. Can you see it? see it now, Mr. Pabst. Can you believe we're going to Concord, New Hampshire? <laughs> we're literally like tourists in this line. Like you would think we're going to Disneyland. <laughs> I have a list in my phone of like TripAdvisor top 10 things to do. I really want to know who posted those on One Trip of them Advisor. is like visit this antique store and go to like the <laughs> Historical Society of New Hampshire. And that we will. Well folks, we've arrived. This is going to be the thumbnail. Ready? In Concord, New Hampshire. Concord, Concord. Look at this parking lot. This is the dream I had. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. Of U-Haul self-storage. And custom niches. I dreamed of stop signs. And a drive. And Salem witch trials where they burned bitches. Okay, and we got the Concord coach lines. Okay, now we're walking to our hotel from the bus station. Um, we think it's this direction, we don't see it, but we're hoping for the best, so cheers. Concord, New Hampshire, here we are. <laughs> don't mind me, just balancing chicken. Mama, <laughs> chicken in the okay, here we go, our first entrance into our oh, hotel room. Oh. oh, hello. Hi, so sorry. Uh, they gave us this room. Uh, Sorry. No, it's not your fault, it's their fault. Okay, well... Okay, we got the right room this time. They actually told us to go to a room and some guy was, like, working on the bathroom. But, we have this unbelievable view of the bus station where we got dropped off. The abandoned transportation building that we walked past. The highway. I'm gonna pee. And the overpass. And this is our glorious room. Concord has really done us well. So far, so good. One, two, three. Oh. Okay, folks, we're here. There's a church. We got candy. We got at the Granite. This is sugar. A well, a well reputed. What do you say? Well reviewed candy shop in Concord. A highly recommended. Um, yeah. Do you want to do a haul for us? Oh, yeah. We. I don't think I filmed anything since we actually got in, but we walked the main street a little bit. Well, Walk around. It's kind of cute melt. down here. Well, we're not gonna be out too much longer. She got some chocolate. These are. Uh, Milk chocolate covered cookie dough bites. Those are a gift. Christy got a maple lollipop. They had so much maple yeah, candy. Maple I love maple sugar. And then I got some so of good. these little like pure maple sugar candies. This one. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Very cute. I think we no might be the only tourists in this town. Of course. Um, but we're walking to the state house right now. We're also simultaneously. This it's going to be up after the video that we sent to Sophie. But our friend Sophie um, is having her like official wedding ceremony. A moment, I suppose. Yeah, at home um, this weekend. So we're making a music video in the process about her wedding night. And that makes it sound sexual. No, like just, <laughs> we're, we're making her we're a, music making a music video. We're making a music video. Yeah, so we're just Wait, kind of going, like, oh, not an entrance. entrance. This is, and music. we're also doing, we're, uh, also we're trying to make a, a TikTok. We're also making a Lady Gaga parody TikTok while we're here. It's just a bunch of content. Content, baby content. So, um, yeah, we're just seeing the sights, taking it in. It's a good ass time. Okay, let's do it. We've made it to the state house, shiny building. Look at the bell! Big ass bell. Wow, the colors with all the greenery and the blue sky is gorgeous. So this is a replication of the Liberty Bell dedicated to the people of New Hampshire, Annecy, France. A free citizen in Are a free land. Wow. One last sight 
Well, there was people coming in and out. I think people were working in there. It's like an actual state house. But there we go, downtown Concord. You guys should show them the building? Yes, I was about to pan over there. The top, no, the state house. State house. Anyway, All right, there's a gold top, there. and we've got a nice statue of 14th president of the U.S., Frank Franklin Pierce. Pierce. My long lost uncle. Really. There he is in all his glory in front of the state house with the gold top. Where is it? <laughs> Where is the gold top? There you go. She's beauty and she's grace. She's Miss Concord States. He's Mr. 14th President of the United States. Amen to that. Wow, look at that bright light. They're doing more filming over here. At last I see the, the light. Ooh, we've got a new station in the house. Okay. Club, another club, no sleep. We are on our way to a bar called Chuck's Barber Shop. And we're going to Barber Hop. And yeah. I'm wearing a crop top and shorts. Sierra's wearing jeans Wait. and a white top. South. My top traveling my south top is from Target and my jewelry is normal. Wait. We brought our mini mics with us. Wait. We're going to try and get like interviews with people here. We were both just saying like we had a few drinks Wait. and we're feeling a little bit tipsy but not like confident. Not like confident drunk. <laughs> like, like, like have you ever been in that state? Like drunk. Like where you're like you've had a few drinks but all of a sudden you're questioning everything you've ever done instead of feeling invincible. Wait, sign is on I think this means crossings. we need a vodka Red Bull and I mean, we'll be okay. A, no one else is out in this town right now. And it's B, a Thursday night. We're out of our element. But we'll figure it out. So hope um, everything goes well and we'll see you in Chalks. 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 Barber. What? Barber shop. Whoa. Okay, these next few clips don't have sound because I had my mic receiver plugged in and didn't realize it, but we went to the speakeasy to call in. It was like a little barber shop, super cute. And we made friends with the bartenders. We were hanging out past closing. And honestly, thank God these don't have sound. Amen. Good morning from Concord, New Hampshire in our hotel restaurant. We are currently enjoying a nice free, well not free, included breakfast. Um, I apparently vlogged last night and because we were testing out our microphones for the podcast, no sound was recorded. Yeah, because we had the mics, them. these little baby mics, and um, I don't know if we I kept them in our them. purse. And so yeah, we didn't turn them she on. She had though. the receiver on on her phone, so, so no clips, sound. <laughs> maybe you can still include them with voiceover. Yeah, we'll see if you we um, a great night. saw them. We, we did. Should I do a little melting recap? funny girl. I'm gonna put coffee in my oh, coffee mug. You, you can either hold the camera or just prop it up. Prop it back a little bit. There we go. Yes. I don't need to be fully in it. There you go. Perfect. Or not. Here, shut the oven. Well, I wanted you in it there. somewhere. There, there I am. There we go. Hey. <laughs> okay. Um, would you like to do a recap? So we... Starting when? Where did, where did, where did the last clip <laughs> The night off? began at 6 p.m. <laughs> um, we went to Tandy's, which is an outdoor uh, patio. One happy hour was... <laughs> Sorry. It's oh fine. God, We're fine. Oh, this smells so good. Like, Six dollar cocktails at the happy hour, which yeah. is like unheard of for us big city folk. Um, and we got sushi, and it was good. yeah. We had sushi for dinner, which was delicious. I had a then, chicken teriyaki roll, and it was so fresh, great stuff. We and, were pretty tipsy because we had two drinks, and we oh, Chrissy accidentally ate her whole club clump of wasabi yeah, and was crying was. at the table. I wasn't crying like yeah. sobbing. No, there I were just tears. Was there were tears. A little bit. And then we came back here and. We we get to the hotel bar by taking co two co cocktails to go. Yeah, they put us up, in up like to sippy our, cups to, up to, our, to our room, and then we worked on the voiceover for Sophie's wedding video. <laughs> the wedding. Surprise. I can't wait to listen to those the clips we didn't. Shoot. We won't be inserting any no, of those. <laughs> no, it's so embarrassing because in the first couple takes we were actually trying to sing, and then we listened back and we're so embarrassed. Like, and I don't mean like funny embarrassed, like actually genuinely embarrassed, yeah, like pain. <laughs> trying to sing Sneaker Night by Vanessa Hudgens and it just did not happen for us. Anyway, so then when we actually went out, it was like, what, 10 p.m. or something? Mm -hmm. It was even earlier than that, actually. But then we went oh, to, yeah, we, we went, went back to Tandy's because we, well, we went to the speakeasy We went to the speakeasy and on Thursday, there was a 40 minute wait to get in, even though nobody was there. I think it was just about like creating hype. Well, I think it was because they, they wanted put, to like have us they, at a table. Like, there was room at the bar, but they didn't like, they thought that we were trying to get a table, I think. No. 
So we went back to Tandy's for 40 minutes. I will always choose to sit at a bar because it's way more social. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, unless you're like with a big group of people, then yeah. it's easier to get a table. But anyway, so basically we end up back at the speakeasy place and we essentially sit at the bar and just talk to the bartenders all night and make friends with them. And the place empties out. And and then we were just left. I know there. one magic trick. I know one card trick and one card trick only. <laughs> and it always works. And for some reason, it didn't work. I think it was probably the alcohol. <laughs> She's literally pondering her life right now why it didn't work. Well, I mean, granted, I was a few drinks deep, and normally yeah. when I'm doing my magic trick, I'm not a few drinks she deep. She has a keen, precise sense of Very magic. Very precise. Oh. And um, it didn't work. Well, actually, it worked the first time, and then it didn't work when I tried it on the manager of this bar. Wait, what's it? I don't remember that. Or not the manager, the chef. I tried, the, oh. I tried it on the chef, the chef who Andre. made us a pizza after the, uh, a gluten-free pizza after the kitchen was closed. Yeah, and we didn't even ask for it. Like, he just came up, and he's like... I don't know, it was a weird time. You were talking to someone else. You said no, he made we a met, buffalo. We met a couple who installs koi ponds. Oh yeah. For we a met, living first. We met the people sitting next to us and they flew out here because they were installing one seven hundred thousand dollar koi pond in Nashville. And also then, look how bendy this bendy strong. Wait, if they were installing a koi pond in Nashville, why were they in Concord, New Hampshire? Well I think maybe they were they came from Nashville where they were doing it. Maybe. I don't remember. I wasn't the one talking because you were the one sitting next to us. I got like inner cuts of the conversation, but. Why would you spend $700,000 on a koi pond? People probably spend more, man. But she was telling us how they transport koi and they don't eat food for a while. Well, they don't feed them for two weeks before they transport them because if they poop in their containment bags, it kills them because of the ammonia. Anyway, we just learned a lot about koi that we didn't really care about. So much about koi. Um, But they were very nice. It was great. Great to chat. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we, I, I failed magic tricks in front of the, uh, oh, but the guy did sleight of hand, our waiter, and he did one of those tricks where you, like, you flip the cards like this, and then it switches from oh, one the, card the, to the other. The suit, yeah. Um, and I saw Shin Lim in Vegas recently, so I was experienced with that a little bit, so I kind of, but obviously Shin Lim's a professional, and this guy was not, so I saw the card that he had hidden, but still, it was very cool. He, like, you take, imagine that this is the... Mm -hmm. Imagine that my card is the Queen of Diamonds. So first he'll show you the Queen of Spades like this. And he'll be like, this isn't your card. And you're like, it's not. And all of a sudden he goes, oh, well. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> it's Queen of Diamonds, uh, uh, Queen of Spades. And then he'll go, is that your card? But like, he doesn't know. He does it like, 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 yeah. Like <laughs> Please don't rip our coupons. This is our sustenance for the morning. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so there's a lot of magic done, a lot of, um, we tried to tell oh, a we, story about and, uh, why we were here, and that didn't really... Yeah, we told them that we had received we have, a mysterious inheritance from an aunt, and we had to cl cl uh, go through her backyard um, to find buried treasure. Well, th we didn't word it like that, but also you were the one that kind of said the story. I was in the bathroom, and I came back, and Sierra goes, yeah, and that's why we're we're trying to, like, find something from our aunt. Like, I don't know what you said, but I was like, I oh boy, she's going with it. Well, we came up with the story ahead of time when we were like telling people. But it was a joke when yeah, we were coming up with it. Like we were just like egging each other we, on. We like, need to have a reason why we came here. Right. That's not the actual reason because <laughs> because the actual reason is so dumb. <laughs> no one will believe it. <laughs> We've always had it on our bucket list. They'd be like, "Are, are you making fun of me?" And I was like, "No." Well, <laughs> <laughs> making well, fun of us mostly. Um, but yeah, and then we oh, and the we, place closed down. We stayed after closing, and, so and we, like, we got the manager in. and one of the um, bartenders to be in a clip for Sophie's video, which was on our bucket list. Mm -hmm. So we got that, and then we closed down the night by playing Mamma Mia and then Funny Girl, and I started singing uh, "Don't Rain on My Parade" as we in the streets were escorted out of the bar. We were not escorted out. <laughs> well, anyway. That was our night, and then we came back here and bought candy from the reception and passed out at like 12.30 because everything closed at 12. Yeah, we bought... Oh, there were no Kit Kats, and I think we were upset for Yeah, that. we were upset for the Kit Kats. We got Twix instead. I know. When's the last time I've had a Twix bar? Probably 2003. It's just... They're good, but it's like... It's so immature to be in your late 20s and come back drunk to a hotel and just buy a bunch of candy <laughs> out of the reception. And buy Nutter Butter. Well, at least we got waters. We got two big waters, which we both finished. Well, no, I didn't buy water. I drank the one that was in the room. But it was good. The Dasani? Mm -hmm. No. There was another one by the coffee maker. I think we definitely bought water. Because there's more water you bottles. Bought water. In it. Okay. I, I don't know if I did. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter why we were about this. No. But anyway, we drank water, and then I ate a whole pack of Nutter Butters, one Reese's, and we split a Twix. And I passed out and woke up this morning 
to a text from Sierra at 12.57 a.m. that just said, miss you, <laughs> that she clearly texted me while I was asleep across the room from her. <laughs> I probably did miss you. Anyway, that was our night. And now we're here. Night. We woke up at 8.30, bright and early. We got plenty of sleep. We got full eight hours, honestly. We're just were we asleep by 12.30? I was. <laughs> I think you were probably awake. Um, drunk texting Jason. <laughs> I was. It's honestly really comforting to, like, drunk text your fiancé and know that, like, you you can't embarrass yourself in the morning. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's exactly. like exactly they have to accept you for exactly like, and all that. This is the things I drunk texted Jason after he went to bed. Um, I said, "Be by love, I missed you. <laughs> Be by love, good night. <laughs> I love, I miss you. Good night. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> well, That's I'm, not bad. I'm I'm omitting our silly pet names for each other. <laughs> no, you have to say it. You no, no okay. one can understand. I'll tell you off the record. Little slug move. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> That's like something you would say. We do call each other slug. Yeah. But I said, be by love. I miss you. Stink stonk. Bebo, I love. Good night, my sleeb. <laughs> See? It's just, you wouldn't understand. And no. then the next thing that he just said, <laughs> he didn't respond to that. He like hearted one of them and he goes, Steve invited me to connect. <laughs> no, to a concert. Oh. <laughs> but I said connect like LinkedIn. <laughs> Anyway, oh, that's funny. Anyway, uh, that was our night, and now this morning our agenda is one: eat breakfast. Yeah, she's having tea and mama coffee, and then we're gonna go into an actual coffee shop, and we're gonna look for some Concord, New Hampshire merch, and we're gonna get any last remaining clips. Yeah, for our um, content, <laughs> and what else? I think that's it. Oh, we're gonna go to a fancy donut place. And yeah, then, I'll probably get one for Jason. And then we'll um, just kind of enjoy our last few hours. And my bus is at 1 p.m. I can't believe Sermon. today you're going to take a bus back to Boston. And do the and exact then, And then a train back to New York. Yeah. Yep. I hope so this it goes. Was absolutely best this 24 hours. This was absolutely worth it. And I very much needed this um, 24 hours of buffoonery in my life. So oh, no. I still, I, I don't know if I fully answered the question of why Concord, New Hampshire has called me. But I think maybe my future self or my past self just knew that I needed a weekend of buffoonery of 24 hours with my best friend in a random place and that's why that's why i was obsessed with it in my journal you know it was meant to be it was and here we are and now we know about koi, coffee. koi ponds amen that's all we asked for in this life and it's so sunny today it was supposed to be thunderstorming this weekend and it's like a perfect blue sky yeah it's gorgeous so we're gonna go enjoy that sun maybe see some of the sights remind me to put on sunscreen yes i already put mine on but i will remind you Okay, we're gonna have breakfast now. Perfectly clear. Oh, Sunday too. Perfectly clear. Look at this delicious breakfast with gluten-free toast. Oh. oh, yeah, you gotta open the thing. And she got this nice plate of oatmeal. Yeah, it's frozen too. Yum. It's like a whole ass meal for a side. Walking away from our hotel. We at the hotel. Motel. Motel. Oh, there is. Great choreography. Anyway, it's so sunny. We're outside now. We outside. We're going to the coffee shop. We have like an hour or so until Sierra's man is coming to pick us up and drive me to the bus and drive her to the lake. And we say goodbye to Concord forever, but not to the memories that we made here. <laughs> you Thank you very much. Have a great day. You too. Sarah, yeah, let's get um, one of the paintings of a koi fish. All right, guys, I'm back in Boston. I just grabbed the bus. I'm all good. And now I'm about to take the Amtrak back to New York. My bus are fast, but like, told me that was gonna happen. Sad to say goodbye to Sierra, but it was really great to be able to see her for a random adventure on a Thursday. So, okay, gotta go find my Amtrak train. We are home now survived the long journey back from Concord, New Hampshire. And it was quite a weekend. It wasn't even a weekend, it was a Thursday night. <laughs> it was quite a Thursday. I'm tired after several hours of traveling. I got my bus at 1 p.m. and now it is 8.20 and I just got in my apartment. So, feeling good, feeling my heart is full. And it was so good also to spend time with Sierra, obviously. And just like, to you know, go to a city, it's kind of just like a 24 hours back in our random, like, carefree college days, and it was much needed. So, 
very fun we did a like more in-depth recap on we are doing a podcast episode we haven't uploaded in a couple months because we decided to step away from the podcast you've probably heard um but we wanted to do just like a special recap episode and um, that'll be up probably this coming tuesday so i'm sure by the time this vlog is up it's already up fingers crossed podcast and you can hear more about the trip and things that I didn't get to vlog on that. But so much fun. Yes, I'm gonna make a turkey burger or something cause I'm quite hungry. And wind down, if you watch an episode of Love Island as I unpack and get ready for bed and get an early night's sleep because I need it. <laughs> so thanks for watching this random vlog. Love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next one very soon. Good night. Bye.